Concerned to me, peeps, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion, joined by Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Whoa, Miami Heat fans, I think it's a little bit time to panic right now. Not full panic, but like mini panic. Okay, you're down now two to one. And this game against Indiana, it was a convincing uh, defeat, okay? That's step one right there. And the question is right here, Paul, straight up. What's going on with D. Wade, okay? I mean, Dwayne Wade does not look like the Dwayne Wade of old. I I'm concerned about this going on right here. What's going on? Look, Wade just obviously didn't have it tonight. Uh, he looked like the Dwayne Wade from the 2011 series against the Chicago Bulls in the Eastern Conference Finals where, where Wade just was not able to do very much. The difference is Indiana's not nearly as good defensively as the Bulls are, in my opinion. What's happening now is you're seeing how thin the Miami Heat talent is without their big three really starring. And so without Chris Bosh and with Dwayne Wade struggling, uh, it's like LeBron on the Cavaliers team. It's, it's, it's kind of like that. And, and Indiana is not a perfect team by any stretch, but they're very deep and they're very good. And you just saw that tonight, and this game was in the balance for a long period of time, and then Indiana realized that, you know, these guys aren't going to stop us. And so they just started getting confidence, and it just started to snowball, and now Miami is in serious trouble in this series. Now, you, the people watching the game saw the little graphic that said, Teams that go up two to one win eighty-two percent of the series. Now Miami is good enough at maximum strength to still come back, but they're in serious trouble. You know what I saw is Indiana was just moving the ball better. They seem you know fresher, more athletic. The pick and roll was in effect. What is Miami going to do to be able to combat this? And what about you know is, is D Wade? Do you think that he's going to be able to step up again and get back to the level that we've seen him in the past? And what about Bosch? Bosch is out for this series, as far as I'm understand. I don't think he's coming back for this series. As far as Wade, I don't know. Uh, people saw during the game the little confrontation kind of between Eric Spolster, the head coach of the Heat. And Dwayne Wade. I I'm not sure where Dwayne Wade's head's at right now. I do think, though, that if Miami loses this series, then you're going to see major changes. And I, I actually think that the Big Three era could be over in Miami if they lose this series. Wow, this is explosive. Tell us what's going on out there, NBA fans. I want to hear from you right now. Do you think Miami can bounce back? Indiana, how great do you have to feel about this? Whose fault is it? D-Wade, LeBron's, the coaches? You tell me what's going on. All of our personal opinion only, of course. Not legend facts, like I said, Spurs don't fair entertainment purpose only. Weigh in on an NBA fans. Two to one. Indiana's got the lead here. How do you think it's going to end? How do you think, what do you think about this game? Tell me about that. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. I'm John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion. That is Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. We're concerned in the media. Thanks for watching. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it to your social networking sites. We'll see you next time.